Hello, I'm back to continue our demo. I'm going to go over just a few more tools that are available on the Design Files website and go into a few more details that we didn't cover in the first video. So the first thing I wanted to show you were some tips and tricks on removing backgrounds of images. So I'm going to scroll through some of the art that's available and I'm going to specifically look for something that has a background I wouldn't want to include. So for this case, let's just go with, just go with this one here. Okay, so say I wanted to put this art on my wall, but obviously the photo that's included here shows the art on an existing wall. So first off, one thing I could do is just crop this image down and in the case of this piece of art that's so perfectly squared, or a rectangle, I should say, um, I could probably, oops, I don't mean to do it that way, but that'll work. Um, I could probably just crop it down enough where I could remove the background um, this way. So one option is to crop the image enough to remove that background. Now, Obviously, everything's not always so neatly packaged, so I'm still going to use this image, uh, but I'm going to show you a couple other options as well. So let me undo that. And actually, I'll just delete it and re -add. it might be faster. Okay, so from here, I am going to go into my remove background tool. So the crop was here under that same section. Remove background is the other button. And the first option that I always try is using this color range option. And what it does is it basically isolates um, similar and different colors and removes them that way. Um, as you can see, th that tool doesn't work for this case because it's starting to remove the actual art as well. Um, so another option, sometimes I can change the color that will be removed. Um, but again, you can see that isn't going to work. So when this tool does not do the trick, we can also try the manually remove background option. For this, what we're going to do is plot various points um, along our image that we want to um, use as our border of um, the image that we're going to remove the background from. And so at the very end, we would connect the dots. And by doing that, it manually removes um, anything that's not within those um, points that you pinned. Now you can see I got it a little off. So what's nice is, um, oops, I don't mean to do that. Hold on just a second. Okay. Um, what I can do is click on this dot that I already drew and I can click it and move it around and that will allow me to resize that frame. And if I'm happy with it, I can click save and it has removed the background that way. So um, from there, I have a fresh, clean image that I could use within my space. Okay, so for the sake of um, time, I'm just going to pretend I want to use this art twice, and I'm going to put it above my couch. Okay, I don't really love that, but I'm trying to just show you the basics. Okay. Anyway, um, the next thing I want to do is add curtains. So I can see uh, lots of different options here. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. And again, I will just click and drag. And here we have, again, a background that um, does not go with my space. So I'm going to click Remove Background. I'm going to try to do the color range option. That's not working. Let me try doing it this way. That's not working. And so I'm going to manually remove the background. So here will be my plot points. We'll start here. And I'm going to try to keep the curtain rod. Um, and then 
I'm just going to plot around the jagged edge so it looks more natural. And let's see, I'll go ahead and do the whole thing. So I'm just going to trace basically everything I want to keep. Um, so you'll notice this process is a little tedious. Um, it's something that I typically try to avoid. Um, my first um, my first try is always to find something that already has the background nicely removed. But sometimes you just find something you really like or you think is a perfect fit. And um, the best thing to do is to remove the background. So um, if that's the case, this is how you would do it. This would probably also be easier if I had a mouse, but I do not. I'm just using my mouse pad, so it can be done. And again, just connect that final dot, and there we have it. Um, we could play around with it, with it if we wanted to. I'm going to say that's good enough. So now I have my curtain rod. Again, this does not quite look very well. So I had mentioned on the first video the distort feature. So we're going to go ahead and try our hand with that again. So we're going to click this button, and this will allow me to click and drag to reposition the curtain along the wall. Okay, and I think that doesn't look too bad. Again, using those angles you already see on the wall usually helps. Okay, not too bad. Um, but now I weirdly have this curtain right in front of my chair. So what I can do is click that curtain and I'm going to click this backwards button but that went too much. So instead, what I can do is click this button, which only takes it behind one layer at a time. So you'll notice if I click one of these two buttons, this brings to front, this one sends to back, and these move it layer by layer, either front or back. And then if I need to, I could reposition the chair, um, but I think it looks and I might reposition it slightly to disguise that curtain back there. Okay, so there you have it. Um, again, just a quick demo over how to remove the background of images and another example of how to use the transform tool um, to distort the image. You can play around with the tools um, and figure those out, but hopefully this will give you a general starting point and go over some of the neat tools available on the website.